Welcome, welcome to the show. I'm Petalair.com presented by Winner by Well Hive. I'm Chris B's Kenny Pickett. I, I, I would always see me pick it from Pitt football. I, I guess you're now a Pitt football alum, right? No longer a uh, University of Pittsburgh student athlete. Student athlete, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm a Pitt football alum. Um, you know, excited to watch the guys go down and play in uh, Atlanta here soon. So, uh, you know, kind of tell us, like, tell us, like, where are you right doing? What's sort of your, you know, what, you know, what, what do you say? Or, you, you know, you, you mentioned you mentioned draft prep when you talk about vision to skip the Peach Bowl. I mean, what are you, I mean, what are you going to do in day to day now? Yeah, I'm just getting started on kind of the draft prep and that process um, up at Test Football Academy. I actually just moved into my new place today. Um, so I just kind of get started on getting my body back to being 100% healthy. Um, and then kind of full go will be January 3rd. Um, but right now it's just, you know, rehab and, and kind of just get my body back to, to where I need to be to start training. You know, it's been a few weeks since we did one of the did one of these and plenty of news in that time. I mean, let's start with you. Uh, you chose not to play play in the peach. You know, what, what, what did that come down to? I think we all saw your statement and, uh, you know, we see a lot of guys making this decision right now. What was it for you that for you that that made you uh, that did not play in this one? This one. Yeah, it's a, it was a tough decision. And um, I mean, no one knows the injury history throughout the season um, that guys go through. I mean, when, when you see – and I went into the 10th, the Virginia game, went into the 10th, the Wake Forest game. Those aren't pleasant visits. You know, there's there's yeah. things that we need to do to make sure I can go out there and play. So, um, injury started to – you know, little nagging things that could turn into big things. Um, and at the end of the day, we, we achieved the goal of winning the, the ACC championship, and that was the, the main goal when I came back. And, um, you know, I felt I – felt, you know, really proud of our team and, and proud of, you know, myself and the coaches that, that, you know, that's what we said we we're going to do. We went out there and did it and I felt great with that. And, uh, you know, I just felt like I didn't want to go out there and, uh, you know, take, take one, it all it takes is one hit to, you know, take yourself out of the position that you're in. So, I mean, it's easy for anyone on the outside to say whatever they want to say. Um, but then you get in this position, it's a little, little different, obviously. So, uh, at the end of the day, I just had too many, too many things stacking up in this in this back half of the season that I felt like could have you know potentially put me at at, at a much larger risk, I'd say, in this in this Peach Bowl. When did you really start di start diving? Into so I mean, you, you were asked after the ACC championship game, are you going to play? And I think you said I think you said that like I plan to play or I plan on or I plan on playing. And that kind of to me because I was like, it it seems like there's like there's a little bit there. Were you? Had you even started thinking about prior to that game against Wake Forest, or when did you did you really get into the decision making process? Yeah, no, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I pushed the whole agent process after the season. I pushed everything also after the season. I'm not, the whole, whole focus was just winning a championship. That was the entire focus, and I think that really kept me focused on what I had to do and um, at the, the job at hand. So uh, after the bowl game, I mean, that was I, I mean after the championship game, I never thought about not playing the bowl game or, or playing and. Um, so really, when I started planning on playing at that time, that's what the plan was. Um, but then when I got, you know, looking at what I had going on and everything, it just, you know, I think the best decision for me and my family was to to move on. Obviously, kind of around that time was the uh, the news of uh, the news of Mark resigning or, or leaving the scene, the staff, move where it is. How did that play into your decision as you kind of evaluated it? Yeah, that wasn't a huge part, to be honest with you. Um, I, I mean, I already had conversations with him, and I mean, I feel like people know by now. I do my due diligence and my research on, on uh, making these decisions. Um, but you know, his his decision came, and that that and I knew it was coming. That wasn't a shock to me. I talked to him, um, you know, before it, it hit you know the internet and it, it took off. Um, but that wasn't anything that I was really taking into consideration with my my decision to play. And then, uh, I mean, I mean, my, I was going to add, uh, if he had been coaching, coaching this game, would you play in it? But it sounds like that, that, that wouldn't be the case. No, yeah, it would, would not be in the case just because of what I have going on with, with, with the two injuries that, um, you know, happened in the last two games and, and the potential to, you know, miss a, a lot of time if I continue to aggravate those injuries. What if you guys were in the Fiesta Bowl? Bowl? Because the way PlayStation Fives in that game in that game is, and I hear those are really hard, those are really hard. Would, would you play then if they were giving away giving away if you're going to get a PlayStation Five? Um, you know, I don't play video games, so I don't think that would have <laughs> added incentive for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I was I was just looking at bowl gifts just to see what uh, what they are getting are getting at the peach. You you won't get a bowl gift. The bowl gift the peach bowl. Peach bowl. You're you've you've you fold the bowl gift in this case, right? Yes. Yeah. I will not will not get a bowl gift. <laughs> Missing out. I, I'm trying to. Do you remember? Do you remember what you guys even get in the quick lane bowl or the sun bowl? Do you remember? Yes, because I remember because I used them every day in my at our house. I mean, we all had we all got recliners, so that was our living room <laughs> furniture because we had no furniture. <laughs> Uh, we moved into our new place, so we had, we all had recliners. So, so that, it, there wasn't much seating in, in, in our house, to say the least. Which one was that? Was it the Sun Bowl or the Quick Lane Bowl? That would have been the Sun Lane. I oh, know, yeah, the, the Sun Bowl, not the Quick Lane. The oh, Quick okay. Lane Bowl, I, for, I forget what we got. <laughs> I, I, it's, I mean, those bowls in Detroit. I, I don't. I, I don't know. They have weird, weird gifts. But the PlayStation Five was the one that stood that stood out to me here. Um, what, what? Uh, uh, you know, I mean, you have a little bit. You know, obviously, you have a lot. Obviously, you have a lot of con- with Coach Will. You have a close relationship with with him. You said you knew it before it got on the on the internet. Did you have an earlier in the season that this probably that this probably would be his last year? Earlier in the season, did I know? Yeah, or have a sense, no, a sense of no, it. No, no, no. I talked to him after the championship game. Um, before, you know, right before, like I said, it, it came out um, that he was moving on. So that, that that didn't have anything to do with my decision. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, you know, you know. So, so were you and you? You kind of we were talking. We were talking started, but were you down to the Peach Bowl? Will you be we with the team on the side? Are you planning to do? Yep, I'll be. Yeah, I'll be down at the Peach Bowl. I'll be helping. Uh, you know, Nick out or whatever quarterbacks in there. Um, you know, also, also the team, and I'll, I'll probably be up in the box, be able to. Um, talk to Nick in the headset and relay what I'm seeing and really just kind of be an extra set of eyes that, you know, have a lot of experience seeing, seeing defenses. So I want to help him out any way I can. Yeah. Now I tried been going online for Pat Narduzzi, for Pat Narduzzi, the interim offensive coordinator to call the plays <laughs> in the peach bowl. If he asked you, if he said, if he said, Kenny, you should come back to Pittsburgh prep with us for two weeks, for two weeks and a headset on the side, on the sideline, but would you call the game for, uh, for, uh, for Pitt in the bowl? <laughs> yeah yeah i would if he, if he asked me to do so if you, if you trust me to call the plays that'd be pretty cool um yeah uh, but i'll definitely be uh you know putting my input in and, and anything i see i'll be getting to coach saying and coach marion and nick and uh you know helping out as much as i can i mean do you think you could do it i mean could you call the plays for a game game yeah, I mean, there's a lot of time to prepare. And, uh, you know, I know how Coach Whip went about it. Obviously, I don't have nearly as much experience. There'd be a lot of learning and kind of going on the fly. Uh, but, he, he, you know, I, I would call two-minute drills in practice. He would let me, you know, do that period on my own. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun doing that and just kind of learning as you go. I feel like it's just some one of the calling plays. It's kind of a – you just got to learn by trial, I think, and, and what works for you. And, and Coach Whip always talks about just how many experiences he's had that – he would bounce back to in, in games and just be like, oh, you know, this has worked for me. And so obviously experience is a big thing with home play. So uh, but that would definitely be a cool, cool experience. <laughs> Perfect way, I think, to, to, kind of, to kind of go out, a, a sort of dairy finish if you called a, if you called a <laughs> win um, in, in that game. game. All right, so I've been wanting to ask about all season. Pit fans, Pit fans have asked me about it. Last year when you made the decision to come, the decision to come for a year, uh, did you consider transferring? Was that on the t- table? Were you getting pursued or contact or nectar? You know, were you hearing the schools would be interested in you transferring? Maybe transferring, maybe even Notre Dame. Talked about, you know, being a big being a big fan going up. Yeah, no, that was never an option for me. Uh, but I mean Notre Dame tried to reach out. There was other schools that tried to reach out. Um, but at the end of the day, it was either the NFL or Pitt. Uh, so never never thought about transferring. Uh, you know, couldn't imagine putting on another another helmet. So I'm, I'm glad I, you know, decided to come back to Pitt. That we accomplished everything we said we we're going to accomplish. So it was a special season. Do you ever uh, find yourself in yourself in sort of quiet moment on the Western Michigan game at all? Game at all? The, yeah, I, I, fans fans have done this a lot. I, I've sort of tended to the side to the side of just, they want a championship. That's a pretty good place to be to be. But you know, there's been a, you know, some some people all the time. Ah, oh, geez, geez, what you know? What do you do? You ever slip slip into that hole? Of course, I mean, of course, you know, both losses I've, I've thought about multiple times, um, you know, we would be in the playoff and, um, you know, compete for a national championship. So it'd be, you know, obviously a different type of deal here. Um, but I think, like I said, I mean, everything happens for a reason. It is what it is. We won, won the ACC championship, which 
what we set out to do. And, um, you know, being able to, like, I mean, I've said multiple times up on that stage in Charlotte was everything. I, I've envisioned that so many times. And uh, it was a pretty sweet moment to be up there. Uh, everything I pictured just, you know, happening in real life, in real time. It was, it was a special moment. All right. Now that the, the uh, season, uh, season's over, is over, top three wins, three wins for you at Pitt. For, in my career? Your career at Pitt, top three wins, three wins. Yeah, we can ask it. We, kept, we talked about it, talked about it a little, a little bit before. Like, well, we'll see, we'll see. All right, right. career's over. Top three wins. Obviously, the championships number one. Uh, you know, beating Wake Forest in Charlotte's number one. Number two, beating Virginia at home for the clinch the coastal. That was very special. Um, I mean, number three, I I'll go clinching the coast to that wake you know i like <laughs> I like winning championships and then number four <laughs> i'd say it was uh clemson beating clemson at home was a special game um but, i mean there's a ton that you go five i mean you got ucf up there the north carolina battles were always great um uh, i keep yeah that's that's probably off the top of my head i'll go with those five i'll give, I'll give you right. some ideas for that. that's good that's good that's good all right what about three throws this this season you think what three throws come to my mind when you think about Sheer? I think the one to Jordan against Clemson on the run. I think that kind of sprung us in that game. I think um, obviously the clincher against UVA was a big one. Um, there was there was a lot of them. I think the 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 game winner to Lucas in overtime in the rain. Um, you know just how crazy of a game that was. It always it's always crazy with North Carolina. Hopefully next year. They could take care of business a little easier than we have in the past. <laughs> um, yeah, it's off the top of my head. I would say those. Okay. Okay. You know, you come, you come into the season. Se- you came, You said you came back for a reason. You had, you had a list of the things you wanted to take off. But when you look back back at what you accomplished this year, all the rec- all the records broken, finalists, champion championships. Ask your expectations of what you thought you could push this year, or what you thought you would have accomplish this season um individually or as a team all of it all of it i mean the whole of it i mean the whole season was it i hoped for i know but did did it did it surpass what you expect this year i think uh the the numbers did um because i was never a big number i just wanted to play at an elite level um and some people have different that's it like what number is that how many yards completion percentage touchdowns what is that elite level um so i think i played at an elite level this year so that was my that was really my goal, uh, but I would say when you look at the numbers and and all the you know records and awards and uh, you know up for the Heisman, all that stuff, I'd say you know that was never on my mind preseason. Um, so that definitely I would say passed my expectations. All right, Kenny, we uh, Kenny, we uh, we uh, video. We can still hear you loud and clear. clear. So, uh, so oh, there you are. No, you back. Sorry. no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Man, um, you're moving. You're moving on. Moving on to the NFL. Pitt obviously is going to bring the guys back next season. Season. What, what what do you think this team do it again? Do you think they've got the build? Or are they built to repeat as coastal champs and believe in ACC champs? Hundred percent. I think you look at all the guys coming back. There was a lot of older guys, but a lot of older guys are still back, and a lot of the young guys were still playing a ton. Um, so I think that's kind of a good mix because you got you know the the younger guys are still learning while you have veteran leadership. And now you add another year to that. So those younger guys are becoming veterans and guys are getting groomed to go play. So I think uh, things are set up there for, you know, for years to come to have some really, really good teams. And, uh, you know, I always wanted to, like when I showed up at Pitt, you know, I wanted to say I, I left it better than when I found it. And I think, you know, that, that's the case. I think we, we, you know, Coach Narduzzi and all the coaches and my recruiting class, you know, I love those guys. And we taught us about winning the championship. We, you know, we got it done. And uh, I think we left our mark, and you know I think the, the program's headed in the right direction for sure. All right, Kenny. Eighteen episodes has been a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. Uh, congr- congratulations, great season on a championship. Luck in the NFL. We'll be be following you as you uh, move on move on that journey. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it.